Hello YouTube, welcome to another video with iPadOS 17. Now in this video I am not going over the features of iPadOS 17 but instead will tell you the difference in experience that I got from upgrading to Mini 6 from the Mini 5. So again both are running latest and greatest iPadOS 17. So for a quick overview I have created an excel sheet comparing the features that we missed out with the iPad Mini 5 compared to the Mini 6. So have a look into them. I feel we are not missing out on any substantial things here. We shall see the main limitations while it comes to usage. And this part of the video was made by a multi-righteous AI cousin using iPad OS 17 personal voice feature, which currently is only on iPad mini 6 and not on 5. But this time we are comparing iPad mini 5 to the mini 6. So the mini 5 it has a 812 bionic chip so which is the same chip that you find in iPhone XS and XR with 3 GB of RAM and the Mini 6 it has a latest A15 chip which does its duty on the iPhone 13 series and also with the 14 the normal 14s and with 4 gigs of RAM so let's run Geekbench 6 shall we so it's running Geekbench 6 CPU test and here we have the results so the Mini 5 it gets 1341 compared to 2134 of mini 6 so that's a 60 percent increase in single core performance and multi-core it's wow it's just amazing so that's almost a 85 percent increase with 5290 score here and two triple eight that's really good with the mini 6 so in real world we can expect uh, overall uh, experience when using these devices like navigating between different apps like if you are multitasking or if you are using live widgets which is present in iPadOS 17 so it gets a lot of usage there so coming to GPU performance so let's fire up Geekbench 6 again this time we are running the GPU test and here we have the results and just amazing so it's just like a 120% hike in graphics performance so here we have 19,000 compared to 9,000 and so these improvements are obtained when you are playing games so the frame rate is smooth we also ran a speedometer test to get the browsing experience and here too the mini 6 has 60 percent higher score than the mini 5 and so that shows like if you are browsing uh, if you are having multiple tabs with the mini 6 it's much faster and also it can handle multiple tabs without refreshing them so that's again an added advantage with uh, 4 gigs of ram so then coming to the internet browsing experience so there is substantial difference only the mini 6 gets 5g and mini 5 is limited to 4g speeds now this is the biggest deciding factor the port situation until mini 5 we got the lightning port and mini 6 got the usb type c port and that's the future in a couple of months we'll be getting iphone 15 series with everything switching to type c and so finally we can have that one cable for all our devices that's really cool now in my previous videos you might have seen how to install developer or public beta on your devices so apple has made it much simple but it's a bit complicated when you have to remove it and go back to iPadOS 16. So you need to restore it. So you have to take a backup of it as all the data gets erased. So if you don't have any data, so you can directly get the PSW and just uh, you can uh, restore it with iTunes or with the Finder app on the newer Macs and you'll be taken back to iPadOS 16 and it will be a fresh device for you to use it so if you're using on your main device and if you want to go back to the previous one you can obviously do that with this method and so what's the conclusion so if you're using ipad mini 5 it's still a great ipad but don't go and and buy a ipad mini 5 at this point of time so but it still supports ipad os 17 pretty well unless you are a power user so you would be noticing its age especially when you are interacting with these live widgets so if you are having multiple widgets or like if you are customizing wallpaper and these live wallpapers thing at present it's not supported yeah it might be supported but in the future releases so apple or like there is no uh, footer notes for this and while playing demanding games so this is uh, one of the main things so as you might have noticed the gpu performance of mini 6 is more than 100 percent more and majority of folks 
the iPad 6 would be a perfect choice. So it gets an all new design without the home button. You get a USB type C port and much more capable and newer A15 chip. So which is still uh, do doing its duty on the latest iPhone 14 series, the normal 14. And it gets Apple Pencil 2 support and it's the perfect iPad and I mean iPad for people who want a tablet and not a computer. So on that note, it's time to end this video. Thank you for watching and do subscribe for more content like this. And as always, stay safe and peace.